the first three months of preparation was covering all the video series, video lectures recorded by like Sally ma'am and side by side also doing the questions from this study room. So the next three months that is uh, September, October, November were basically a revision of, of all the notes that I had made from the video lectures and doing sectional tests and mock tests. So till December of 2022, I uh, tried to complete all the syllabus. Hello everyone, welcome to Cracko interview series. Today we have with us Kunal Mehra. He has cracked the ZAT 2023 exam and made it to IMT Ghaziabad. He pursued BTEC from IP University Delhi and he has worked at Wipro Limited for around 3 years and he is about to start his MBA journey at IMT Ghaziabad. Today he is with us to share his ZAT preparation journey and also how he made it to IMT Ghaziabad and he is also going to discuss the selection process and his interview preparation journey. He is going to give us some valuable tips on how to prepare for the personal interviews as well. So hi Kunal, first of all a big congratulations on making it to IMT and firstly uh, can you walk us through your preparation journey when you started your whole MBA journey? Yeah, thank you for the wishes. Yeah, so my preparation journey started uh, last year, that is June of 2022. So I, I got enrolled in full-time Kraku course because I wanted uh, to self basically do the preparation by self-study. So uh, I like the Kraku uh, whole curriculum course, uh, including video series, mock tests, sectional tests and the interface was quite good as well. The first three months of preparation was covering all the video series, video lectures recorded by like Sally ma'am and right. Maruti sir and, uh, and side by side also doing the questions from this study room. So the next three months that is uh, September, October, November were basically a revision of, of all the notes that I had made from the video lectures and practicing more and more questions from the study room and doing sectional tests and mock tests. So, so till December, so till December of 2022, I uh, tried to complete all the syllabus along with tests uh, for the preparation journey. Yeah. So by September, you finished the syllabus, right? Yes. Right. So, uh, so how many mocks did you take once you finished the syllabus? And uh, what was your mock analyzing strategy? So it was, I gave around five mocks for that and uh, similarly for CAT as well, four to five mocks. And I used to give it every once a week, mostly. So uh, like from the very beginning, I found the level of uh, Kraku questions and mocks and uh, in the study room uh, to be of like me medium to difficult level. So based on the previous years that I saw in CAT and ZAT papers, I think it was uh, it was of the same level which I found in Kraku resources. So right. the, so that 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 gave me confidence that I was going in the right direction. So mock analysis uh, had all the aspects covered: all India performances, uh, sectional. Our performances so so I think the overall uh, the feedback was good and it helped me improve in the up next mocks right so now as that does not have any sectional time limit and you can juggle between the sections so uh, what was your strategy on the day of the exam so which section did you start with and how can one come up with the right order of attempting the sections Okay, so I think it is very important to be self-aware what are our strengths and weaknesses and uh, basically in the Krakow ZAT course, Sally ma'am also told this uh, in the like how to, so she told whatever your best strength is, you do it first, uh, then she told uh, to do decision making sectional test and lastly, whichever section that is uh, your weakness. So a similar thing I did in that uh, exam. My strength was verbal ability and logical reasoning. So that I attempted first. 
basically i attempted all the questions because i was uh, quite confident in that section then i did decision making uh, then i attempted decision making in the zat exam and uh, the last which i did was quants and data interpretation all right yeah and uh, so the zat so in my zat exam the uh, the second part was just uh, checking of the system part b uh, right. and part c involved uh, 25 minutes of gk and sa so here i would like to mention Uh, for the gk section i prepared from uh, kraku monthly current affairs pdfs so that okay. was very helpful for the november for december for january apart from that i regularly studied uh, the times of india article section and uh, times business okay. so so yeah so our, so in the gk section i, I can say uh, from 25 around 10 to 15 questions were definitely from the uh, kraku pdfs of current affairs uh, that i feel and 5 uh, right. to 10 questions were from static gk and uh, general current affairs and my essay topic was an abstract topic for the decision making section uh, firstly i completed all the video lectures recorded in the kraku interface and then i did sectional tests of decision making so i did all the sectional tests so and uh, i analyzed where i was wrong so i think this kind of gave me an idea for the uh, d day right. yeah so that's how my overall decision making uh, percentile improved so that's how i cleared the cut off for the decision making section wonderful that's really amazing and we are really glad that you are able to achieve your target score uh, on the zat exam now let's move on to the preparation process for imt ghaziabad so can you tell us what is the selection process for imt ghaziabad and how did you prepare for each stage of the interview okay so the selection process of imt ghaziabad is basically first the entrance exam they uh, take candidates from cat and zat and uh, i think the other imt campuses hyderabad nagpur they also consider cmat entrance exam okay yeah so coming back to imt ghaziabad so the second stage of uh, selection is is a critical reasoning test and okay. a personal interview that occurs on uh, a single day itself okay so it's a written test Test? Yeah, it's a written test. So, in their own platform, IMT candidate okay. platform, they give they give a topic. So, my okay. topic was uh, a bullet bullet train in the country when okay. so many when so many people are below poverty line. Is it right. uh, is it fine to make bullet train in the country? And okay. pro, its pros and cons. So. so this was a, a hot topic a uh, few months back as uh, i was aware that mostly all the uh, mba interviews can cover this topic so i had prepared uh, in depth about this to- topic how which no, technology it is using yeah right. so uh, it was around 200 to 300 words we have to write in uh, i think 30 minutes okay so it's basically an essay writing uh, Yes, task right. Okay. Correct. It is called critical reasoning test. So, okay. uh, how are you able to uh, critically? Right, right, right. Next stage uh, comes was uh, personal interview. Okay. So, so in my personal interview, uh, basically they covered all aspects of my candidature. It started from uh, my background, engineering background. So the questions in, uh, were f- like. Uh, what is the difference between four stroke engine and two stroke engine as i am okay. from mechanical background right what are the right. different laws of thermodynamics right so they ask you about the technical questions first correct right. okay so next the interview goes on like uh, there were questions uh, can you tell about indian economy the current situation how is it growing so in right. that case the whatever i used to study from 
Times of India newspaper that was quite handy, like how the government is spending on more and more infrastructure. And uh, if we compare from all the other countries, how this year India is expected to grow at six to seven percent. So, and uh, finally, rest of the questions were like, uh, why do you want to do PGDM course? Right. And and one more interesting question was, can you tell any latest business news? So at that time, uh, Adani Hindenburg issue. Uh, right. Correct. Was, yeah. Yeah. So I think it it was around fifteen to twenty minutes the interview. There were two panelists, and they conducted right. the interview. So in IFT, you have to select uh, while filling the application form back in. Uh, in August 2022 itself, okay. uh, you have to select your preferences, which okay. courses, uh, PGDM, PGDM marketing, financial management, or banking okay. finance. So whatever your preferences, according, you have to rank in the application form itself, and also which campuses are your preferences. So mine was first Ghaziabad, second Hyderabad, third Nagpur, and fourth right. was du Dubai. Because they have four okay. campuses, right. so uh, so I think based on your overall, uh, like I think there must be some process uh, like ten right, right, right. marks, twelve marks, the uh, your interview uh, marks, and I think all and some weightage for for the ZAT or CAT exam. Right. So I think overall a composite score they calculate and based on that they give the final result. Directly over me. Right. So, so the interviews are held in Feb, and you got the result within a month, right? Within one month. Correct. Correct. Right. Okay. So, uh, so can you also tell us uh, what is uh, what are the cutoffs for IMT Gaziabad? The CAT and ZAT cutoffs. What are the cutoffs generally, and so how, how can one prepare for the interviews? Okay. Uh, so the cutoffs are basically uh, it's. It's in the range of 90 to 93 in ZAT, and I okay. think sim similar. I would say 92 to 93 in CAT exam as yeah, well. Right. So I think they consider the overall aggregate uh, percent. Right, overall score. Yeah, overall score. And uh, so, so mine was like around 93.6. So I cleared the cutoff. Great. Yeah. And the for the interview preparation, like I told, right from the very first month you have started your preparation for the management entrances exams, you should often study at least two of the sections in the newspaper. That is the article section and the Times business. So that would be very helpful uh, at the time of uh, interviews and all, because in the end, you don't have to rush through all the topics of the previous year, you're almost aware of uh, all the topics, uh, current affairs, and right. uh, mostly one or two topics, uh, which are applicable at just 10 to 15 days back uh, of the interview date that you can just study at the end. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kunal. Uh, you gave some very really valuable insights, and I hope uh, it helps a lot of aspirants who are preparing for SAT and also uh, those aspirants who are targeting IMT Gaziwal. I'm sure it helps them. Thank you so much, and all the very best for your MBA journey. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.